In my last video, I showed you how there are digital product creators that are making a thousand up to $30,000 per month selling digital posters and wall art. And in this video, I kind of want to piggyback on that and show you different things you can make. I know the fall season is coming up. I kind of want to get a jump start on that. And so I am about to produce some wall art and some wall decor featuring realistic animals that represent the fall and autumn. And I want to take you along the journey in case that's something that you want to do too. But before we dive into my computer, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Dee Willis. I'm a digital product creator. And what I do is I teach people and I show them exactly how they too can create digital products of their own and how they can go about selling them online and making money while they sleep. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel channel you know your dad looks out for your girl okay so let's just dive right on into my computer because of some things I'm going to show you and some techniques and templates that you might want to take note of so that way you can use this tool on your own all right so let's go now as we jumped into my computer um, I did create this animal tutorial channel within my discord um, that way it can keep it a little separate from everything else if you're not familiar with Midjourney, because this is the AI tool that I use to help me generate my ideas and my digital art, I would definitely advise for you to watch the video that I made prior. I'm going to link it at the top as well as it's going to be down in the description to help you set up your mid journey and get started. If you don't have one already, I will highly advise that you do that before you jump into this one, because I'm going to be doing some more advanced parameters and prompts and things like that in this tutorial. So let's get started. So what I want to do is create some fall animals. Now we're going to start from very basic. I want to produce an owl. And first of all, an owl is a, like a fall animal. It represents the transition between summer to fall wisdom and all of that good jazz. And on top of it, it is my bestie's favorite animal. So I am going to create a poster of an owl. All right. No photography needed. No graphic design um, experience required. You just need to know how to write and type. Okay. So we're going to do the prompt. So we're going to start with imagine prompt. And of course, the command will start to come up for you once you start typing. So I'm going to click imagine prompt. And then the prompt I'm going to use is a stunning, I want a stunning um, photograph of a majestic, uh oh, oh, let me go back, of a majestic great horned owl, okay? I want it to show the full body of the owl, and I want it in a forest type of background. All right, now I want a aspect ratio of a 2.3 or 2 by 3 and I'm gonna do version 5.2 now let me explain this really quick the aspect ratio it actually helps me determine how I want this image sized with the aspect ratio of a 2 by 3 it makes particular sizes like it makes a 4 by 6 a 6 by 9 8 by 12 10 by 15 12 by 18 it can go up all the way to a 24 by 36 and even higher okay just it stays within that ratio it keeps the image looking good a two by three ratio is a portrait more of a vertical if i wanted it horizontal but in this same ratio i just flip the numbers around to three by two that'll make it horizontal landscape opposed to portrait a vertical so i'm gonna leave it two by three because that's vertical and most pictures hang on the wall vertically like the one behind me. Now the V is for a version. Typically by default, Mid Journey does a 5.2 version because that's the most recent version of Mid Journey. I like to specify I want it in a version 5.2 because hey, I don't want it in nothing else. I don't want it in a five. I don't want it in a four. I want it in a 5.2. So I just do it on the safe end to be on the safe side. Okay. So then I'm going to press enter and mid journey is going to start doing its thing and creating for me this 
photograph of a majestic great horned owl. So we are watching it in real time as it does its thing. Now, this can be very, very time consuming when you want to do like six different animals or 10 different animals that you want to create posters on. All right. So there's a, a list of animals that I do want to uh, make posters of. I want to do an owl, a deer, you know, a fox and, you know, things like that. I'm not going to want to type this out like this for every single one. All right. Especially when some of the, some of the prompt is the same, just the animal and maybe the environment that the animal is in is different. Okay. So jumping back over here to mid journey is 93% done. And we're going to take a look at it because it's going to be done pretty soon right here. So, all right. So now it's done. So what I want to do is click on it and look at these beautiful photos. Okay. So I'm opening it up in the browser just so I can get a better look and I'm going to zoom in on it. All right. So it looked like some rain is falling on this one. It's some rain. This one looks okay. So whatever one you like, that's the one you can pick. Okay. So we can go back over here to discord. And then now we have our options at the bottom. We can upscale the one we want. This is one, two, three, and four. I'm kind of digging the two and the three. I'm not digging the rainfall or I could do that. That'd be a nice picture for somebody, right? So I can upscale one, two, and three by clicking the U one, two, and three. I don't want four. Or if I like this one, which is three, I can do variations of three. So it'll make me another set of four. Mid journey will make me another set of four for number three if that's the route I want to go. Okay. So now let's do a few things. We know that I want all of my pictures, correct? Every last single one of them, I want an aspect ratio of a two by three ratio because I want them all portrait. I want them all to be displayed in a version 5.2. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down here and I am going to give mid journey a command, command pre suffix all right so with this pre this prefer to suffix okay so what this prefer to suffix does is it adds the same ending to all of them okay to everything moving forward that i do until i turn it off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do dash dash ar two three and then i want a dash dash v 5.2 so now it's saying okay now we're going to put this at the end so i don't have to keep typing it okay all right so that's an advanced technique all right so you got one advanced technique out of me already now here's the second advanced technique i want to do multiple animals so here's the thing i'm going to do imagine prompt and here's what i want I want a stunning photo realistic. I want all of them be, to be like that images of now I'm going to do the curly bracket. I want an owl in the forest, which I already have. So I can take that out. I want a lion on a mountain lion roaring on a mountain. I want a lion run on the mountain. Then I'm going to press the comma. I'm not going to press the comma until I'm done describing the first subject. So I have the lion roaring on a mountain. I want a majestic deer against a fall foliage, foliage background, a cozy, rustic feel, comma. Now I'm done describing my deer and what I want with the deer. I want a fox with red and orange fur hunting for food. Okay. Now let me go back. Let me do full body. 
Okay, so I want stunning, photorealistic, full body images of all of this, okay? Now I have my one, my lion, two, my deer, three, my fox, and then I want a squirrel gathering nuts for the winter. I want a squirrel gathering nuts for the winter. And I want a bear and her cubs snuggled together in a den. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the end of that curly bracket, okay? Now remember, I don't have to type the dash dash AR anymore because that's automatically gonna be appended to the end of this because I did that before we did this. So now I'm going to click enter. Midjourney is gonna ask me, are you sure you want to imagine five prompts for the template that I just created? I'm gonna say yes, because <laughs> I did that for a reason. It's going to say fail to process your command. We ain't trying to hear all that, right? It's going to do what we need it to do. All right. So now instead of me going line by line by line by line, as you can see, the first part of that template, stunning photorealistic full body images of, it says lion run on a mountain. Then it separates it and says the first part is the same. Everything outside of the brackets is the same. And then it says majestic deer against the fall foliage background, cozy rustic. The comma separated, if that makes sense, the comma separates it. All right. And so now it's coming up with all of these different images that I can view, like them. Then the ones I like, I can upscale them, save them to my computer. And now I have a file that I can upload to Etsy to sell in a two by three ratio. And when you do this, it's good to specify the sizes that a two by three ratio can make. So of course, when you upload your product or go to sell it, whether you sell it on Etsy, on your own Shopify, or on Society6, or where Redbubble, wherever you sell it, or if you uh, do a print on demand through Printful or Printify, it's always good to put in the product description that this specific product is created in a two by three ratio and list out, you can print this in a four by six, a eight by whatever, you know what I'm saying? Eight by 10, 11 by 14. Well, 11 by 14 is his own ratio. If you can't make it 11 by 14 with a two by three, don't do that. But anyway, I'm just listing out some sizes, but you need to know what sizes your ratio um, that you choose actually makes. And in the last video, I showed a, a screenshot of that. So you can view that video and take a picture of it with your cell phone or whatever, take a screenshot of it so that way you can see, or you can do a quick Google search and see what size frames does a two by three ratio fit in, okay? And it will list all of those out for you. So some of this is still thinking, like my deer is still thinking, right? So we got the fox, the fox is up, the lion is up, the squirrel is up gathering nuts, okay? And then the bear is in the den with the cubs, okay? So I believe the only one we're missing, oh, and it's coming now, is the deer, the majestic deer, okay? So now I can look at these images right here. Well, I already know we're gonna do the owl, okay? I like to open it up in the browser just and zoom in just so I can see. I see that one's raining. And it's standing, facing, you know, the feet is facing is like on the right side. But this one is kind of on the left side. I don't like this too much because it's, it's more green. Okay, so I kind of know I am going to rock with upscaling number one with the rain. And I'm upscale number three. So upscaling makes them big enough and crisp enough that they can be printed. Okay, so we're, I'm upscaling those. 
Now let's go down. Let's look at our majestic deer. Oh, it's not even finished yet. It's at 93. Okay. Well, it looks like it's going to be finished now. Okay. Where are you? Okay. So. All right. So our two upscales. So we went there. We got the two upscales for the aisle. So what I can do is I click on it. Some people save it right from here or they click on it and they save it right from here. Don't do that. Open it up in the browser so you can get the full image. So you can get the full upscale image. So I'm going to put our one, save that, go back over here, click on this, open it in the browser, save as image, aisle two. And then of course, we're going to check out our Fox, open it in browser, zoom in. I don't kind of, that one is soaking wet. I like this one. Okay. Ooh, I like three, two. So I like two and three. Remember the quadrants, one, two, three, four. I like two and three. So I'm going to go with two. I'm going to upscale two and I'm going to upscale three. Let's hit our lion. This is how fast you can make art, guys. Ooh, he looks vicious. Now we got number one. Ooh, two, three. Okay, I like one and four. So what I'm going to do is upscale one, two, three, four. Right, one, I'm upscale one, and I'm upscale four. Once they turn blue, they're, they're working. All right, so now let's check out our squirrels. Oh, that looked like a nice holiday. Nice little collecting nuts. Oh, look at all of them. I think I like them all. I like all of these with the squirrels. So I'm about to upscale all of them. One, two, three, four. Now let's go down to our cubs. All right, let's zoom in. And I like to zoom in guys because sometimes you will see some mistakes or the AI did not generate something completely. All right. You see the, the, the moss on the baby's head, on the baby cub's head. I don't think I want that. I think the AI was trying to, well, it could be there because it brushed off of this area. Um, but guys, I am very picky. I pay attention to detail. Okay. I like, but I do like three two, three, and four, right? I like all two, three, and four. I like all of them except one. I'm not feeling this on the head, right? So I am going to upscale two, three, and four. Okay. So now we did our two owls already. Now we're going to do our fox. Now guys, we just made like over <laughs> 10 items, 10 products for fall, okay? That's how quick this happened, okay? And let me open this up in the browser and save these. Guys, we have 15 products now. Isn't that wonderful? If you like this video, if this is something that you can get down with, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I make more tutorials like this. I definitely appreciate you guys for watching. And if you haven't had the opportunity yet, be sure to watch that previous video. And in the next video, I am going to be showing you how you can create other things outside of of posters and wall decor. But I love creating wall and home decor. I guess that's the female in me. But again, shops are making upwards of $1,000 to $30 plus thousand dollars per month selling wall art. And this is how fast you can create 15 products of your own, unique products of your own. Be sure to watch that last video because there are terms and conditions associated to being able to sell these images when you use mid journey. Okay. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Again, thanks so much for watching. Bye.